week at COP. Let's start with an announcement. Next weekend, both Saturday and Sunday, will be Go Group Emphasis Weekend. Come expecting to learn, grow, and be inspired to be part of it. Look what the Lord has done. That is February 27 and 28 in all COP services. This week at COP, we praise God with Districts 4, 5, and 6 for 154 new believers from various outreaches who have now attended First Truths online and a good number have already attended services for Fortress 91, been water baptized, and are taking levels. Look what God has done! During the online crusade, one of the leaders lives next door to a vacant lot. So she got permission to invite live attendees to watch the Zoom outreach on a video, following all protocols, of course. A number of people from that vacant lot are now saved and connected to Go Groups. This week at COP, the mighty men in uniform praise God for 390 souls won from police, army applicants, and QC traffic enforcer trainees. This week at COP, District 7 members have been reaching out and seen 112 souls saved. Here, we get to see some of them being water baptized. This week at COP, Nahi, would you like to see the update? The steel structure is here in the Philippines already. It is at the Port of Manila undergoing customs clearance. Meanwhile, the church flooring has been prepared. We are getting ready to see COP Naik rise. This week at COP, did you know? We called our Remain project Remain because we decided to remain and rebuild God's house, our ancestral home, right where it is at 350 Taft. We're working on phase one right now. Here are some pictures and updates of our board piling. We have our eight pile already ongoing right now. We will be done with all of our board piles by May 2. God is so good. This week at COP, go 200 churches. Would you like to see Pastora Judel? And no, this is not on Everyday Jesus. Would you like to see Pastora Judel in Japan? Here she is on a docked ship holding a Go group that has grown to 30 members. This Go group was started by Brother Ronald, one of our COP members. They meet in the ship's dining room. All in all, we have three Go groups in Japan with a total of 45 members. And want to hear something funny? The Japan Go group members have reached out and evangelized their family members back here in the Philippines. Five of those new believers are already water baptized. We now have 104 Missions Go groups in the provinces or abroad. We would love for your loved ones to be included. Refer, refer. Get the QR code or see us at the concierge. This week at COP, we rejoice with our brothers and sisters receiving harvests from the Lord. The Mohal family praises God for the finished home for their mom and dad. The Ahoro couple is praising God for the dedication of their new branch in which 13 staff were saved. From COP Cebu, Lala Florita dedicated her chicken business named RTL, ready to lay. Also from COP Cebu, the Francisco family dedicated their chicken and goat business on land purchased during the pandemic, land they had believed God for at the altar of earth. From Tondo, a testimony of restoration, double restoration. For the Dela Cruz and Quintano families, they lost their business during the pandemic, but now have opened a thriving food selling business outside their house and dedicated two vehicles and two motorcycles. From COP Davao, the Panaguitan family praises God for the dedication of two branches of their business. They're thankful that throughout the pandemic, they've not had to lay off their workers. And finally, we have dedicated cars. Edgar and Teresa Ramos, their blue Honda City. Gideonite ushers, Eddie Marr and Marlene, their L300. The Mendoza couple, a double dedication, their Toyota Innova and their mini grocery. Brother Cacho dedicated his L300. And Raquel Sanares, her Toyota Corolla. 
It has been another great week at COP. 